<coughs> uh, these are all, these are factoring problems. First thing you want to do is remove the greatest common factor. In this case, the greatest common factor is going to be a three and x squared. <clears throat> From the six, I'm removing a three, that's a two. Two of those four x's, that gives me an x squared, minus from the 15, that gives me a 5 and an x, minus from the 21, I'm removing a 3 and then I'm taking the x squared. Now I'm really not done with this problem because this factors. If I'm going to use the AC method of factoring, A times C is 2 times 7, which is 14. So that says I need two numbers which are multiplied together to give me 14, but they have to subtract to give me a negative 5. Well, how can I get a 14? Well, in here I can see it right there. It's 2 and 7. So I'm going to need a negative 5. So I'm going to be a 2 here and a 7 there. That gives me a negative 5. So that means I would take 2x squared minus 5x minus 7, rewrite it as a plus 2x and a plus 7x. That means this 5x became these two factors right there. In fact, that should be a plus. 7x, that should be a minus 7x. <clears throat> because that's going to be a minus 7. So that now I factor by grouping, group the first two, last two, that becomes a plus. So 2x times x plus 1 minus 7 times x plus 1. So this is going to turn into x plus 1 times 2x minus 7. So that's just one of many ways that you can do this particular problem. On this one, the greatest common factor is smallest power on x is one-third, smallest power on y is y cubed. So two, from the x to the one-third, I'm removing one-third. From the y cubed, I'm removing three of them plus 9 from the x to the 2 thirds, I'm removing a 1 third, and from a y to the fifth, I'm removing 3. So this says x to the 1 third y cubed, 2, 1 third minus 1 third is 0, so he's gone. 3 minus 3 is 0, so he's gone. x to the 2 thirds minus 1 third is x to the 1 third. y, 5 minus 3 is 2. Now, in this particular instance, I notice I have a blob. So I'm going to let b be equal to x plus 1, and I'm going to put it in parentheses because I don't know what I'm going to have to multiply by in the end. So this is 5, 5, I'm getting ahead of myself here, 5y cubed b to the negative one half plus fifteen y squared b to the one half. 
Now it's similar to the problem that we worked up here. And now I'm removing a greatest common factor of 5. y cubed y squared is y squared. b to the negative 1 half and a positive 1 half is a b to the negative 1 half. So I am taking the 5 from the y cubed or removing a y squared, which is y, and from the b to the negative 1 half, I am removing a negative 1 half, so he's going to be gone, plus 15, I'm taking the 3, I'm taking the y squared, and from the b to the 1 half, I am removing a negative one half. So this becomes 5y squared b to the negative one half times, that's plus, that's b to the zero which is one, and that's plus, so one half plus one half is one b. So this is 5y squared b to the negative one half times y plus 3b is x plus 1. Now that's a perfectly good answer, or you could have multiplied this through. So you would have had 5y squared b to the one half, that's a negative one half, times y plus 3x plus 1. 3x plus 3, 3x plus 3, either way, so either one of these could be answers. Now rationalize the denominator means to remove the radical, and so I need to use the conjugate. So the conjugate of 2 plus x is 2 minus the square root of x. So multiply the numerator by 2 minus the square root of x. The denominator by 2 minus the square root of x. I get 3 times 2 minus the square root of x. Foil, 2 times 2 is 4 inner is plus 2 square roots of x, outer is minus 2 square roots of x, last is the square root of x times the square root of x, which is the square root of x squared. So this is 3 times 2 minus the square root of x over, these add to 0, for minus square root of x squared is just x, that is a perfectly good answer. Or you could multiply through, this is 6 minus 3 square roots of x all over 4 minus x, and that's also a perfectly good answer.